Hey, what's up, guys? It's time for another Days of Our Lives review. And I have to say, I really enjoyed this week's episodes. A lot going on, a lot of action, drama, and I got in some laughs, of course. This, this daggone show. Gotta love it. Um, <laughs> there are some other, um, some returns. So I thought that we were done with Harris Michaels, um, but apparently it's be back next week as well as Eve Donovan. Yes, Cassie the Piva is coming back uh, for Eve and Harris reunion um, at um, oh lordy, <laughs> Fern Clip. Um, oh lordy, I forgot what that place was called. <laughs> So many characters going to the psych ward on soap puppets. It's hard to keep up with her called Baby. That's what it's called, Baby. I didn't even have to look it up. I remembered it. Just as I was going up Google. <laughs> and I also heard that um <clears throat> Ava um oh Lordy, Ava Jerome, wrong soap opera, Ava um Vitaly. <laughs> Was, uh, is going to be coming back too. Um, I don't think it's next week because she wasn't in the promo. Cast, um, Eve was in the promo for next week. Um, but I did see an article where she'll be back. Eva will be back as well. So it'll be a reunion. Um, she'll be sharing scenes with Harris also. It'll be a reunion between the actors, um, Tamara and Steve, who plays Carly and Jason good friends on Jar Hospital. So that will be an interesting reunion. My favorite Carly and um Jason. Um oh, I don't know if he's my favorite Jason I, but anyways, that's another story. Also there's some other news about Days of Lies I was reading about early this morning. I'm like, oh Lordy. So I was gonna <laughs> read some other stuff. Um, I saw a couple other articles. I wanted to read about it, and I'll do a separate video talking about that drama. But anyways, let's talk about the fictional drama <laughs> this week. I binge watched the full week last night, or well, late afternoon, early evening. So a lot of this is still fresh in my head, but I I did still take some notes just to make sure I get cover everything. But um, Rocky was being very pay attention to me so if i met, might miss some stuff that wasn't able to take the notes down so anyways let's just talk about what happened enough of this enough of this stuff. anyways it looks like the well whitley got fine finally they finally saved abe this week lord the fourth time but before i get to that part talk about this scene was so funny. So Rave Jada and the U.S. Marshal. I totally forgot his name. He was. I was just watching. I I remember him saying his name to um Lonnie and Eli, but I just like I just put down U.S. Marshal because I forgot. <laughs> well, anyways, they find Lonnie Lonnie on the docks because they were chasing um her ankle monitor because she stupidly told Whitley that she had an ankle monitor, so Whitley had to get rid of her. And I still, how did she get Lonnie out of her apartment and nobody sees? They really, really need to question what that building, like, did everybody in that building die of carbon, um, carbon dioxide poisoning? Anyways, but I thought it was, um, they're just, like, standing over her, trying to, like, wake her up and stuff, and they find a needle, and, um, the marshal thinking the worst that it was hers. And here I am, just wondering, you know, I'm, like, <laughs> taken away from the whole scene, like, Lonnie is just, like, knocked out on the docks, and she still has her shoes on. Still has her shoes on, hair looking fabulous, but she's uh, did, did Whitley just like lay her down gently and fix her up before she walked away? Cause I'm like I lay down, I just lay down on the couch and like my boobs about to pop out of my tank top, my bun is all messed up, and I actually did my hair yesterday. <laughs> I'm like. 
Uh, only on soft poppers. <laughs> but, um, yeah, she gets, um, they finally get her to the hospital, and, um, um, uh, oh, I was like, who did she tell me? I was like, why did she tell Abe that Abe was in it? But I totally missed the part. Them, she tells um, Jada and Rafe that Abe is really alive. Um, and he's at Nurse King's place. <laughs> so they rush over there. I'm just trying to figure out why didn't they... Um, oh, well, I guess they couldn't get through to... Well, I know that Steve tried to get through to Jada last week. And I guess they didn't um, call 911. I guess they want to just talk to Rafe and Jada directly, I guess. About saving Abe, but I don't know. And I was just wondering <laughs> that Steve, well, they did, um, Kayla did later say that Steve and John were on their way back to Salem with Jerry. So, but I was like wondering, I was like, they didn't make it back to Salem? Because <laughs> they surely made it to LA pretty fast. But, anyways, I digress. Um, <laughs> Marlene and I had got there, um, <coughs> got to Whitley's place before anybody else, um, which was good in the wrong run, I guess, because, you know, she's trying to talk Whitley down. She had brought out the broken he heater that she still had for some reason. She didn't get a rid of it, you know, the fire department or whatever, um, didn't think to remove it from her place, which makes me think that everybody in that building is, like, dead now, and it should be condemned and knocked down for, I don't know, whatever reason, but anyway, anyway, she should turn it on and her and Ava's gonna sit there and die, I'm like, oh, lordy. And I'm like, this is so messed up. But then I started giggling when I noticed that one of the stuff cats was <laughs> like sitting right next to Abe. Like he's sitting there and one of the cats was like wrapped up in his arm. Like Tub Tub was with me last night. I'm like, I'm like trying to like chill and watch Days of Our Lives. And first Rocky was bugging me and then Tub Tub started bugging me. I'm like, hey, can I watch this on first? Y'all can get loving in every time, but no, anyway. Yeah, but Marlene was trying to, um, was trying to turn it off and talk her down. It was like she was getting somewhere, but then Jada and Rafe busted in. Jada had a gun. Rafe was just standing there like an idiot. <laughs> but yeah, Marlena was able to, um, calm her down and, um, Jada was able to arrest her. So, hmm. now think about it. Rafe could definitely get a job as personal, like, a personal security, if he can't get, um, his, um, commissioner job back, he should, um, apply to be Abe's personal security person, because that boy definitely needs some security. <laughs> oh, lordy, but, um, yeah, I thought it was funny, Eli like, comes to town, but he goes straight to Paulina's. I was like, well, okay, okay, I guess it. Because I just thought that was weird. Like, he didn't just go out and start looking for Lonnie. He just goes straight to Paulina. But I guess I guess it's nice to go check on your mother and law see how she doing, too. And also, I just realized that Chanel was not back for any of this. So, hopefully, maybe next week. Same thing with Johnny. And now with, um, oh, wait, never mind. Well, still, I was just thinking, I was like, um... He wasn't there for Stefan and Gabby's wedding either. And then I was thinking EJ and Nicole were getting married. I'm like, in my dreams. But <laughs> so that's his uncle. It seemed like they had like a connection going. But anyways, I'm like way ahead of myself. But <laughs> but he was asking about running. But they ended up going to the hospital. They I forgot who called them. But um yeah, they go down to the hospital. And um they go see Lonnie, and she's still kind of out of it, but um, she was saying that Abe was, um, she's like, my dad, he's alive. And um, Paulina's looking at Kayla like, oh, is this like drugs talking? And Kayla's like, no, it's true. Abe's alive. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, and they go out into the, um, out to the nurse's station, and um, Theo just came. Kayla called him. He was with Chad. Chad was, you know, just trying to keep him calm while he's trying to 
um, worried about where Lonnie was. I was like, oh, he's so cute. You know, Theo being all worried and stuff. But yeah, and it was like Paulina was like all excited, like she's about to tell him. But then, you know, um, Marlena walked off the elevator with Abe in her wheelchair. And Paulina was like, look. And I see Abe's. <laughs> And and Theo just like go over and start hugging him and stuff. And Abe's like, Who are you? Do I know y'all? What? Stranger danger. Stranger danger. <laughs> yeah, he's all confused. Poor thing. <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, so that will happen on Monday's episode. That's, that's basically most of Monday's episode. The, yeah, the Chad and Steffi, um, Stephan, Stephanie, Alex crap I'll talk about later. If I remember, I don't think I wrote those down. But anyways, Eli <laughs> trying to take care of Lonnie. He was like all upset and, you know, she's like, um, <laughs> you need to go take a chill pill. <laughs> but he's like, oh, you went in without backup, so... Um, next time you want to do something like that, let me know. <laughs> and I was like, you're like, you know, Lonnie just goes in without backup all the time. This is just, you know, two times that she did, she ended up killing somebody. <laughs> well, well, Stefan came back from the dead. And, um, but, um, her bio dad, her sperm donor wasn't so lucky. <laughs> so this is the only time where the, um, person she went after got the better half of her. But speaking of Stefan, it was definitely a missed opportunity not having Lonnie and Stefan having scenes. Yeah, we just got the um, Eli and um, Gavin and Stefan scenes, which, which was funny with them and Josie. But it would have been really nice to have seen Lonnie and Stefan in a scene together. Gabby being there, too, would be funny, too. But, you know, missed opportunities, but. I guess, because, yeah, the U.S. Marshal came in, and he wanted to take her back to prison. <laughs> and Eli was trying to get him, and I was like, hey, her dad just came back alive. Can she spend some time with him? And the U.S. Marshal was like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, and it was a goof up on Daisy's part. Um, Lonnie was telling Theo that she had six months, um, and she got peel in six months. But Eli said that when he came back, um, Two months ago. What, what did he come back for? Was it? What did he come back for? I forgot. Was it? I don't Was it Easter or Mother's Day? I forgot. But anyways, that was at least two months ago that he came back. So, really, she would have four months. But I remember he saying that um, she could be home before Christmas. So, six months from now would be... Um, put you at January, so I'm just saying. But I digress. <laughs> you know, days are not good with time. They still not been able to decide if they're still doing the time jump or <laughs> or they gone back to regular people time. Because you know, Stephen's Steph dates. But anyways, but. Yeah, Theo was feeling pretty bad. He thought that, you know, this was talking to Kayla, thinking that this was sort of like karma for, you know, keeping Sierra and Ben apart when Sierra didn't have her memory and she just wanted to stay away from Ben. But, you know, and Theo went along with it and was like, Kayla's like, no, she doesn't believe in that. And I'm like, uh, I, I can believe, I can. I believe in that. It could happen, definitely. But, um, you know, he might not. I was talking about Abe not. Um, they're doing everything to help Abe remember. They're flushing out all the drugs that um, Whitney gave him. I'm like, oh, lordy. I'm just, <laughs> she, the way Kayla said that, I'm like, oh, lordy, how many drugs does she pump him with? Because, you know, because he's, like, very bright, vibrant. And then, you know, the last few weeks, you know, once he started questioning, but she's, like, definitely not his wife. She just kind of like, oh, what's going on here? So I'm like, oh, lordy, did she just, like, pump him with sedatives, like, every, what, 12 hours or, or something like that? Lordy. And did he ever 
didn't get to lay down and sleep or I just sat there on my couch. Questions. I, of course, <laughs> of course I have to ask because why not? But so Paulina was in there talking to him and he just kept asking, he's like, you know, where's his wife and stuff. And she's like, hey, I'm your wife. And shows him her ID and shows him a picture of the wedding because he was talking about, he saw the picture of the wedding. He's like, oh, it's probably Photoshop and stuff. And I'm like, Lord of girl, if you only saw that picture. <laughs> she was saying that, like, a picture, that picture. She was just like, hella horribly Photoshopped picture. I'm like, oh, Lordy. But Pauline was doing trying to explain to him. He's like, yeah, that woman with me, she kidnapped you. And then Theo comes in, and um, Abe thinks he's Brandon. He's like, no, I'm Theo. And he's explaining that, you know, Whitley hired Jerry to pretend with Theo. And he's like, oh, yeah, I saw, you know, him in the credits. Lordy. <clears throat> and um, Lonnie came in, too, and he didn't know who she was. But, but you know, they did, um, what they did talk about Lonnie to him. Or maybe he just forgot because, you know, he's still a little out of it because, you know, he knew before she started pumping him with sedatives that she wasn't really his wife and that, you know, she was lying about everything. So hopefully I'll once they be able to get all the drugs out of his system, he can um, think clearly or because, you know, he still thinks Whitley's his wife and Paulina is just is the best thing here on Marlena um talking with Whitley. Um and she's just trying to talk to her and um uh, she thought that she was Marlena was the um oh Lordy. I forgot her character name on um Body and Soul. I'm just calling her the Queen of Daytime and stuff. I was like, that's true. But, you know, in their world, she's not in daytime. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Paulina busted in there. <laughs> that slapped her face. <laughs> that was a um, good old soap slap. <laughs> Paulina was like, um, Paulina, I think it's time for you to go. Yeah, it kind of messed up my session. <laughs> I was like, Marlena's trying to get through to Whitley, and Jada comes in with the gun, and now Paulina's slapping her. <laughs> oh, Lord. She's like, because you, my husband, don't know who I am. Ugh, all the lies you told. I was like, Lord, I don't get on Paulina at that time. So, definitely interesting. What it also makes me think is, um, does um is Whitley gonna be at baby with everybody else? And that's gonna be a new hot mess storyline. Everybody bust out baby <laughs> and come take over Salem. Oh lordy. <laughs> Halloween's coming up. Why not? <laughs> or a good a good a good um summer storyline. Um <laughs> end of stories, uh end of, end of soap oh lordy. End of summer storyline. There you go. I got the words out. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, Lordy. Anyways. <clears throat> off, the, off of that storyline. So, <clears throat> Abe's found, but now, how long before he gets his memory back? And is he going to be able to walk? <laughs> Poor thing. Anyways, no more Eli and Lonnie. Hopefully we do get to see them at Christmas for the, if only for the ornament hangings, just because they didn't get to, did they get to do that together? Or Lonnie went to prison. I don't remember. But, um, anyways, on to, Lordy, these humans. But I thought this scene was funny. With um Eric and Brady, Eric telling Brady that um he's stupid for threatening to kill Kristen. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, if Eric thinks it's stupid, Brady, then it, you 
definitely messed up. And Brady's like, yeah, I know it was stupid. I'm like, yeah, so you're basically admitting you're an idiot right now. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, even worse, Rachel heard. And it's like, oh, my God. And it's even horrible. Eric, he seems to be making sense, but then he goes stupidly when he tells Brady that Sloane is pregnant. Um, <laughs> and he says that he's going to go to Brady for parenting advice. And I'm like, did you not just hear what happened? Brady's daughter overheard her Overheard him threatening to kill her mom, but that's the that's the that's the guy that you want to go for parenting advice. Awesome, you're better off with EJ. He's a better dad. <laughs> but um, yeah, I thought that was funny. Like everybody that heard about Sloan being pregnant was like they're shocked because you know because yeah. Um, Sloan's character doesn't really give off the vibe of, yeah, I want to, at first, <clears throat> she never gave the vibe that like, she want to be in love and have, like, a real relationship, and then you throw in having a baby, too, it just doesn't seem right for the character, but, I don't know, whatever you want to do with this storyline, <laughs> I don't know, but it's just gotten worse after Friday's episode. <clears throat> but I thought it was funny. But even Brady thought it was a bad idea for Eric <laughs> coming to him for parents and advice. Because, yeah, where, where, where's Tate? Tate, you remember him? Where are you at? <laughs> Lordy with Teresa. So, oh, Lordy. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Where is Teresa's real first name? It's not Teresa. Something stupid. So I'm, I remember it's like, that's better than, better than Teresa. I don't know. Now I have to go and Google that. Um, <laughs> um, uh, Jenny. Jenny. I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> back to what I was talking about. Yeah, so I guess Kristen was looking for a lawyer, but Bell showed up. And, um,. She's trying to get Kristen to change her statement. <clears throat> and Kristen's like, oh, why should I? He was trying to kill me or threatening to kill me. He had a gun to her. And Belle's like, you really want Brady in prison? And I'm just like sitting here thinking like, wow, Belle. I mean, I know Brady's your brother, but I mean, if the roles were reversed and it was Kristen going to Brady, um, threatening to kill him. Um, Belle wouldn't waste any kind of time, um, throwing Brady in the prison. I mean, throwing, oh, Lordy, I messed that up. Belle would, <laughs> would do everything to make sure that Kristen ends up in prison, just like anybody else on the show would have done that, um, and Brady's mad that Kristen wants to use this against him. And I'm like, if it was reverse, Brady, you'd want Kristen to go to prison for threatening you. So it was just like a double standard, uh, very hypocritical of Belle and Brady also for wanting Kristen just to say, okay, that's, you know, I'll let you get away with threatening you. Whatever. <clears throat> but, you know. Kristen does a lot of things, but Rachel didn't see what Kristen, Kristen has done. And plus, um, Rachel is a mini Kristen anyway, so it's only a matter of time before she starts doing this stuff. I mean, hey, she already fed Kristen um, some good ammo to blackmail Dimitri with, which I'll talk more about that a little bit later. Um, <laughs> but um, Kristen said it should be open to do it if they can get a shared custody agreement going, which is what was supposed to happen before Brady decided to be an idiot. Um, but yeah, Belle goes to Brady and tells him, yeah, I can um, get Kristen to change her statement. And then 
<laughs> Kristen busts in. <laughs> He's like, oh no, you brought her here. <laughs> like Kristen like followed her there, but um he said he's not gonna sign the agreement until she keeps her end of the bargain. And I'm like, are you serious? <sighs> I can't wait to see. But anyway, she calls Trask on speakerphone to say that she's changing her statement, and Trask is pissed, saying, "Uh, oh, you um waste just basically wasting my time then." I just feel bad for Trass. It's like, has she even, like, really put anybody away? <laughs> Except for Eve. Um, I think Eve and Vivian are, like, the only characters that haven't gotten out yet. <laughs> but we are supposed to see Vivian coming up soon anyways. Um, I just remember. But, um... Uh, Brady, I was like, wait, did he even sign the paper? But yeah, Kristen hung up on Trask and Brad Brady signed the papers. And that's last we saw Brady this week. Kristen showed up on Friday's episode, um. But we'll talk about more in a second. But um <sighs> doing to my couple. Stay strong. But um yeah, Nicole and EJ went to go see the specialist about back. EJ talked her into coming back um, by um, <laughs> flying her out on his private jet. And um, she had like a five um, star meal and stuff. And I'm like, I'm in the wrong profession. I'm joking. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so she wanted EJ to do genetic testing. Yeah, and they asked, um, she asked them if they wanted to know the sex of the baby. They said no. And the Afterwards, EJ asks her if she could tell him the sex of the baby. She's like, no, I'm going to call her patient. So if he um, wants to know, then they have to go through Nicole first. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just, sorry. It just sounded like somebody was like on my roof or my door. I don't know. I'm hearing weird noises. My neighbor over here is not home, and my neighbor over here is only on one story, so I wouldn't hear them upstairs. I don't know. Anyways, let me finish this review. It just sounds really creepy up here. <laughs> Alrighty, but Nicole is out and sees Eric. And, um... Sure enough, Sloane shows up, and they said that um, Sloane's expecting, and Nicole just looks all upset. But, you know, she tries to play it off like she's not hurt. I know, I was waiting for her to <laughs> come up to Sloane, like, oh, why would you want to be tied down to him for a year? But I guess it's the other way around. <laughs> why would um Eric want to be with her for years, but. Who knows? She might not actually have the baby or she'll switch the babies, but Nicole's more um farther along than um Sloan is. But anyways, um EJ shows up and just makes things like even more awkward by saying, Oh, we can take Lamar's class together or our kids will be around the same age, so we can go to little league games together. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, make this stop. <laughs> and well they're gonna be brother and sister or sister and sister or brother and brother so <sighs> I don't know what to say I don't know what to have. oh never mind I'm like I don't know what I want Nicole and EJ to have cause um but we know for a fact that Eric is the daddy now because Sloane stole Nicole's um, test results. Eric told her that Nicole was getting, um, EJ was doing genetic testing and she freaks out. Um, and she has a nightmare that Eric found out the truth, which thought that that was going to happen this week, that he was going to find out the truth and go off on Sloane. But no, no, it's just a dream. And, um, uh, or. Her case a nightmare. <sighs> Lordy. 
<laughs> so she's like gets up, goes to the hospital and pretends to be Nicole and brings up that her baby daddy, EJ Demera, and he's like, Oh, I'm so sorry, here, here you go. Like, girl, you made so much trouble. <laughs> but she goes in the room and looks at the results and see that they're not a match. And Nicole comes in and she goes up to the desk to get her results. And another nurse is there and she says that they're not there. So how is that going to go? I don't know. But we shall see Monday, I guess. <laughs> Carry on to next week. And it makes me think, wonder, if they take um, Friday scenes on the same day. Oh, Lordy, I forgot what they were. Were the Wednesday's episode? They were on Wednesday. Um, with the awkward scenes and stuff. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I think it was Wednesday's episode. Um, did they take those scenes in the same day? Because no. Cole's hair was like exactly the same. And I'm like, did they do that hairstyle twice or were these scenes all done in the same day or something? I don't know. But I thought that was interesting. <sighs> oh, yeah. But um, EJ and Nicole did talk about Eric afterwards. And Nicole said that she's over Eric, but she still cares about him. That's why she was upset about the whole pregnancy stuff. Like, oh my god, they can stop. But Michelle wants to go with Nicole and Eric because, you know, they hate me. And the fact that um, I love who I love. So this, it, I'm still hurt. Anyways, that's all. I, 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 I'll stop because I think I, t <laughs> I think I go down that route like every week that we talk about Eric and Nicole. But. Anyways, but, um, <laughs> oh, I was like, I wrote in the notes that said, um, what did I say? Someone reads the results and sees that EJ is not the baby's father. I put in parentheses, cries. But, oh, my theory about how the storyline can go is I can see Salone and EJ um, working together to keep Nicole and Eric apart because I don't see a way to where, um, so I don't think Simone will be able to keep it a secret that Eric is the dad the entire pregnancy. So I'm guessing somebody's going to find out. And I think if Eric finds out, he's going to want to tell Nicole. If Nicole finds out, she's going to want to tell Eric. And... If EJ finds out, he's not going to want to tell Nicole. So that's what's going to keep the storyline going. And I can see that Sloan and EJ could um, work together to keep them apart. Make um, Nicole and Eric still believe that they are um, having a baby. They're not having a baby together. I said that right. Eric and Nicole are not having a baby together. Okay. Yep, and that's another reason why I can't like um, Talia's character because she did this to me. You know, just well, call, I hate Colin too because he asked her to do it, but she didn't have to do it and she did it anyway. So, and speaking of which, Jada did tell that to Ray. I'm um, sorry, Rocky's laying under my desk. <laughs> this me, I didn't feel like hell brighter. I think it got hell brighter, but anyways, but Ray goes to see. Oh, we're done with EJ and Nicole. Um, well, they were going to be at um, <laughs> Stefan and Gabby's wedding, but Nicole went to go get her test results. But Anyways, Rafe goes to invite Jada to the wedding. Um, she mentioned that Talia was picking up trash, so. <laughs> and they ended up having sex. <laughs> and what I can't understand is Jada looked like she was about fresh out of the shower, so why does she have a full face of makeup? <laughs> that was just me and my review, general hospital review. I was like, the girl is laying by the pool. Who goes with a full face of makeup to go lay by the pool? Even if you're not getting the water still, but I digress. Um, <laughs> but they end up having sex, and then they go downstairs and um, see um, Eric and Eric has like these little feet 
in a, a plastic box he's going to give to Roman to let him know he's going to be a granddad again and find out that Sloan's pregnant with his baby and Eric and Jada are like mm, super awkward but anyways so I'm guessing we're not going to see the scenes with Eric and Roman maybe next week I guess I guess we can see that on my next episode well Still on the call fight over her results. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's gonna happen, but I don't know, it could be. <sighs> Anyways, but <sighs> my baby's getting married. And I hate to say this, but I'm really not feeling Gabby's dress. I liked her dress at their first wedding. But um Stefan brought her breakfast in bed. He thought that she would stay at Rave's um tradition. Don't see the bride the day before her um the day um, of the wedding. We don't wake up together, but Eddie and I did that because my uncle got us a really nice hotel on the beach, so of course we're going to wake up together. Um, <laughs> but um, Gabby's like, after everything that's happened between us, you know, what else is there to happen? I'm like, girl, don't test fate. <laughs> but yeah, they get ready for the wedding. And Kristen comes in and I'm like, oh Lordy, what's she about to do? <laughs> you know, she gives um Gabby some family heirloom. I'm like, oh, what's in it? I'm like, what is it gonna do to her? Um, I thought it was funny that Christian jokes. It's like, oh, they could have just stole it off the Titanic. I'm like, oh my god. But um, yeah, Gra Gabby was creeped out too. It was like, oh my, you're being so nice to me. And Kristen's like yeah, you've just been nice to me, probably because, you know, you just want help with control over the mirror, but, you know, she just wants them to be friendly to each other, you know, they're going to be sister-in-laws, and I'm like, oh, that's so sweet, but yeah, I love Kristen, but it's, there's, there's something more going here, but I thought that would be cool, Kristen and Gabby could be friends, but, you know, they have some similarities, too, you know. And they both could use some girlfriends. <laughs> Lonnie's still left up, so um, it'll be a while for Kristen to have her friend back. Um, if Lonnie even comes back after she can get out of prison. But we shall see. Um, but I thought that was cool. Um, uh, yeah, that's all, that's all I wrote in my notes. <laughs> But, um, yeah, what's it? Um, oh, Lordy. <laughs> Make sure I said the word for Stefan goes downstairs. They have the living room all set up for the wedding, and Dimitri comes in. And, um, Stefan was like, Dimitri wasn't invited. And he's like, um, he was getting married too. And it's like, no way, you know, they're going to have another double wedding. Like, oh, Lordy. Last double wedding. <laughs> but I'd say that's, like, one of the best, um, almost wedding <laughs> soaps in a while. <laughs> but, yeah. You know, um, Dimitri was acting like he didn't want to get married earlier in the week. And um, he had ran off, and Gwen was just all sad, and she was talking to Leo, and then um, Dimitri had came back, and Gwen had to leave to go back to the office, and Dimitri was trying to get Leo to um, for them to get in bed, and he was like, "No, I can't do this to Gwen. I can't. It's over." And then. Dimitri starts stripping. I'm like, mm -hmm. they stops at the underwear. I'm like, what are you doing? Keep going, keep going. This is Peacock. I, I don't know. Do they, do they show penis on Peacock? I don't know. All the stuff I've watched have been um, <laughs> shows or movies. Well, some of them have been Peacock originals, and some have been movies that just came out in the theater, so. I don't know, is that a thing? But I don't know, I guess um even though Days is on Peacock, it still used to be on main TV. 
I don't think they're good for penis, but I don't know. They look good when a little lower. Come on now. You could tease, but you know, go full teeth. <laughs> and Gwen is like, oh no, I forgot my phone. And she goes back upstairs, and I'm like, oh my gosh, she's about to see them in bed. Oh my gosh, just no. It was like, they got, um, I thought they would get married first before we see, um, she finds out the truth, but, um, I thought that was funny. He was like, he has to get married before he's, um, Leo said, you married before you're over the hill. He's like, 40? I'm saying 40. He's like, same thing. <laughs> I was like, dang, I'm almost over the hill? <laughs> For four years. <laughs> I don't know, let me text my sister. You're over the hill, and she'll be 40 in a couple of weeks. <laughs> oh, lordy, but. You know, she walks in and, you know, Dimitri is just in his boxers and like, or his tidy. No, they look like they were boxer briefs. <laughs> but um, she's like, explain this. And Leo thought quickly and he's like, oh, I was going to lend um, Dimitri one of my really loud ass suits. <laughs> I was like, really? He's going to be able to get into your medium? <laughs> um, plus, um, Dimitri, isn't he, like, much taller than me? I don't know. But on the wedding day, I thought that was funny. Um, Dimitri sitting up there blowing up Leo's phone. <laughs> He's telling Gwen, I'll put my phone on silent. Or, um... <laughs> Leo has Dimitri in his phone as MP. <laughs> They're still sticking to that magic penis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that that's one of my favorite things going on. <laughs> so right now. <laughs> And so Gwen thinks that Leo has a new dude. So I was like, oh lordy, she's going. Um, but Leo did mention he was going through a matchmaker. So I wonder if it's the same matchmaker as um, Trask and Lee has been going through. Um, so he needs to go find a fake dude. So um, she doesn't know that um, that's her, <laughs> that's her, you know, her soon to be husband. Magic penis, but um, he said that um, it was Matthew Perry. <laughs> She's like, what? The dude from Friends? <laughs> He's like, no, Ross, I'm more of a Ross guy. I'm like, oh my god, all these reference, 90s references. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, Gwen wasn't really happy to share um, double wedding, and Gabby wasn't either. And Gwen was talking about. The last double wedding, and um, Leo was holding her arm. She's like, but this guy. No, she said another word. I forgot what she said. <laughs> but, yeah. Gabby and Stefan, we've been waiting for them to have a real relationship and stuff. And this is what you come up with. <laughs> and, yeah, it was funny. When <laughs> we've been chatting, so they're like, huh? I'm like, yeah, they were getting married. They could have had Will and Sunny and Ari come back for it. You know, just blow up. I don't know. Um, um, Tony and Anna. Um, I think they did say that Tony and Anna couldn't come back for some reason. I think they did get a reason for that. And um, Dimitri did try to invite um, Chad and Stephanie, but they weren't feeling it. And who else could have been there? I could have had um, Julie there just because. <laughs> just because I've been funny. Anyways. Um, but Leo interrupts saying that he has something to say. You know, at the moment, that should not be in any of the soap opera <laughs> weddings. Is, is anybody object to this wedding? And Lordy. And who's this dude doing the service? <laughs> oh, Lordy. 
Anyway, so that should be an interesting Monday episode. But I do believe that the weddings are still going to go through. I don't think, um, not sure what Leo will say, but I don't think he's actually going to stop the wedding. Though he does feel guilty that he's bringing his only friend's fiance with the magic penis. Anyways, <laughs> oh, we'll talk one. Um, last thing I want to talk about is the dating stuff with Trask and Lee. But, well, first of all, I want to talk about um, Trask meeting with Salome, which I put all the way down here, but I guess it goes with the leads. Anyways, but yeah, even Trask was like, Salome, you're having a baby? Because, you know, Trask bought her a drink after she creamed her in court and sent Colin to prison. <laughs> But she's like, you just seem like a more of a career um, driven woman. And so Trash is confused. But Salon's like, yeah, but, you know, her parents are dead. Her brother's going to prison. So she doesn't really have much family. So make a baby. I'm like, yeah, I can, I can totally see her um, that being a good reason. But hmm, it just mostly just seems. More like she's just giving Eric a baby because she um, doesn't want him to know that she's then the close carrying his baby. Um, but then they started talking about Chassie's date with Lee and how uh, they were hitting it off, but then she tried to record his confession for working with Megan and Rolf and Sloan's like, if you had chemistry, then why were you trying to get them to confess? And she's like, she has no idea. <laughs> but yeah. But Sloan left to go to her appointment. And while they're talking, Lee was talking with Wendy and Trip. It looked like they're about to jump each other's bones. But Lee was telling them about Trask's, his date with Trask and how she was trying to get him to confess. And he still claims his innocence. Guilty, but I guess there's no way to really prove it. Megan and Ralph ran away, and I doubt that they would. And they would just make themselves look guilty. I don't know. They're guilty anyways. But yeah, stop talking about them. But um, but you know, Trish was Trip was kind of like defending Trask in a way, saying, you know, she's had you know hard lately with her um daughter Haley um dying I was like that's her name I've been thinking what was her name I was talking about her a few um reviews ago so Haley that's what it is and um she was losing her and um Lee was kind of starting to feel bad about it <laughs> and so he goes to meet his date and Trip tells Wendy that him and Haley I got married and Winnie damn near choked on her food, but Tripp said, you know, he just married her so she could get a green card. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that storyline, how that went. <laughs> she was dating, um, dating JJ and it's kind of like a back and forth with him and, um, but Haley ends up marrying Tripp. <laughs> Even though she really wanted JJ's hotness. But anyways, Lee goes to meet Tress, and they think they're, um, the matchmaker set them on a date again, but just wearing the same outfit as, um, well, not the same outfit, the same color as her real date, and she's wearing the same color of his date. Um... <laughs> Chas seems annoying, um, but, um, his, um, Lee's real date shows up, and I'm wondering, is she, uh, I'm, I meant to look it up, is she, a, um, someone that had been on the show before, um, I forgot her name, honestly, my bad, because <laughs> she was just, like, going on and on, talking about her life, well, before, she, um, they went off, um, she said she apologized for being late. The circus was in town. And Chas, were you looking for work? 
<laughs> just like, uh, no, just constant traffic jam or whatever. But, um, when she was talking to Lee, she was just like dropping all the good old places, the Cheating Heart and the Green Mountain Lodge and how she spent her whole life in Salem. It made me think, you know, you know, but she, um, back on the teen scene or the early teen scene with, um, um, with like Sammy and Carrie or the last blast, I don't remember her being the last blast group, but that made me wonder, but I don't know, or they just brought her in just to name drop some stuff, you know, maybe some stuff coming back. I didn't miss the cheating heart though. <laughs> but um Lee um Travis's date ended up being Alex. And he went to Stephanie asking her which shirt to pick. He showed up shirtless and she's like, Oh, we just talked about boundaries. It was funny, Chad was walking out, like fresh out of the shower in his bathrobe, like he about to order a hit or something. And he ends up picking the shirt. But yeah, so Lee's date was talking all about herself, and then Alice was talking to Chas all about himself and his discoverings, talking to Maggie and how he loves Stephanie. And Chas is like, yeah, this is not going to work because you're still in love with your ex, and you're just really full of yourself. <laughs> and I was like, wow. I can't believe that he was just being that boring, poor thing. Wrapped up with Stephanie and Shane back in. But anyways, that's... All I had to say about this week's episode. And I didn't really talk for 51 minutes. It just happened. So. Um. Oh. I'm sorry. I just started reading a text message. Hmm, that don't. Lordy. Um. I forgot what I was. I was going to say something else, but I forgot. Anyways. I will do another video to talk about all that drama. Other stuff that I heard about. Um. Days of our lives. In another video. But in this video, let me know in the comments below what did you like and didn't like about this week. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Because why not? And um, share the video. Even if it's just to make fun of the fact that I just look at details way too closely. <laughs> Some of them a little too closely. But anyways, enjoy the rest of your weekend. We're under a stream heat warning. Um, hi. Um, heat index, it was in, like, 102 the last time I checked it. It was, like, in, like, 100, um, teens, um, yesterday. Like, 11, 12, I mean, 111, 112 back on Thursday, but today's only 102. I mean, that's still a lot, but, cool. anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about Bright sunshining day here, and I hope it's there, too. Because why not? I don't know why I keep saying that. <laughs> but this is the last review for J July. June. For July, I will see you guys in April. I don't, I don't know my months. This is the last review for July. See you in August. There we go. Thank you for watching. Love you guys.